Hi everyone, today I'm doing a project review on this sandwich toaster. My video today is slightly different, it's not about cooking, uh, like a cooking tutorial, it's more on a product review. So I've got this sandwich toaster which I purchased yesterday and my kids are back at school so I thought okay let's try this out. It was reasonably priced, um, the original price was £25, it was £18, so I thought, okay, let's try this out. And also this product review will give you a good idea whether you'd like to purchase this or not, if it's for you or not. So I'm going to try this out and make a sandwich in front of you so you can see this. In the box you will get a manual and uh, it's quite straightforward it's just got the warning signs in it and instructions on how to use the sandwich maker and then the other page is just basically on the cleaning side which is quite straightforward you can just use a paper towel i don't want to clean the um sandwich maker so so this is how it looks out out of the box and this is the button to open the sandwich maker so it's quite easy and that's how you open it so what I do like about this sandwich maker is that you've got four four spaces you can make four separate sandwiches I've got four children so this is uh, really good for me and uh, so that's why I bought it because I wanted a larger family uh, style one and uh, so how, uh, how do you use this well you just press put the plug in switch it on and the red indicator the power button should come on like this then after a few minutes it should uh, go to green which means it's the right temperature so you can start putting your sandwiches in here after about three minutes when the temperature goes up and it should then this light uh, this green light should light up here at the back so that means it's ready for you to put your sandwiches in and then you just leave them in a few minutes and then you check so it doesn't tell you when your sandwiches are ready you have to check them after a few minutes to see if they are done or not and the cleaning side of things well you just use a damp cloth, uh, cloth uh, towel kitchen towel to do the cleaning so I'm just going to switch mine off now and you just clean with a damp cloth which seems quite easy to clean um, and uh, yeah so uh, let's try with the sandwiches and see what happens my sandwich maker has been switched on and I've put the bread here I've put some tuna mayonnaise and I'm sprinkling some grated cheese as well and my children two of my children wanted a bit of pineapple pieces on there so I put a few pieces of pineapple on the other side put the remaining bread on top and closed the lid I found the lid quite difficult to close maybe because my bread was slightly thicker than normal breads but it still did the job so after a couple of minutes this is how the toasted sandwiches looked you can see the steam coming off the toast so they're really hot you have to watch your fingers And then I took them off the toaster. I tasted the sandwich and it was nice and warm inside. So I like that. And there you can see how the sandwich came out. Overall pros and cons. I found it easy to use, a reasonable pricing, I found it very easy to clean, the food was nice and hot and the product was lightweight and cooked very quickly. The cons however were that there was no on and off button 
and the fact that there was no recipes available which could have been useful for me so I would have had a variety of recipes I would have been able to have more ideas so I had to do my own research on what sandwich I'd like to make but otherwise I think I, it was uh, not a bad pricing and um, yeah I was happy with the product and um, you can't go wrong with £18 but yeah I think I made a good buy but I don't know about you I hope you found this product review useful and I hope you liked my video. 